Allegheny Elementary School, Allegheny Middle School, and Alderdice High School. And those are mourners diving for cover at a funeral. Yes, this was a shooting at a funeral. It happened in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Authorities say the two gunmen opened fire at this event from the outside of the Destiny of Faith Church, which is on Pittsburgh's north side. This apparently happened just after noon. Uh, the funeral was for a 20-year-old man who had been shot to death in an incident two weeks earlier. Police say that two gunmen, they believe, opened fire and that a shot spotter system, which is an audio system used by police to track gunshots, initially reported five shots fired in the block of this church and then another 15 shots. And then there were multiple reports that started flooding into police of people at this funeral who had been shot and injured. Here is Pittsburgh Police Commander Richard Ford describing the scene. Um, when officers arrived on scene, um, it was determined that there was gunfire that took place outside the church, the 3700 block. Um, there were four victims that were self-transported to AGH. There were also one additional victim that was critical that was transported by medics. So a total of five people who were shot and taken to the hospital or went to the hospital themselves. Police say that one other person was transported to the hospital for injuries that person sustained while scrambling to try to get out of the church and the funeral service. Police say that the two people who have been arrested for trying to shoot up the funeral and the church from the outside are a 19-year-old man and a 16-year-old boy. These two alleged gunmen face charges of criminal attempted homicide, criminal conspiracy, aggravated assault, and various firearms charges. The funeral that was taking place inside the Destiny of Faith Church was for a 20-year-old man named John Hornazes. Hornazes, two weeks earlier, was shot and killed at a gas station, and police said that the shooting shooting of his funeral, or at least the shooting from the outside of the church for his funeral, well, that was targeted. And that prompted a number of reporters to ask police questions about the connections between the shooting death of Hornazes two weeks earlier and the shots that were fired at this church. Are we seeing some sort of turf battle, some sort of gang activity, a neighborhood dispute? So obviously we believe there's, there's, there's a dispute going on. We're looking into that. We're going to utilize all the resources as we have been doing currently and we'll continue to do so. Um, there will be a strong police presence in the areas of concern uh, that we believe are problem areas so that we can hopefully, uh, you know, prevent anything further from happening at this time. In terms of prevention, there is some frustration among the mourners and people who attended John Hornese's funeral because they say, at least they tell the local media, that they warned police that they were hearing rumblings that there might be an attempt to shoot up Hornese's funeral. They asked for police to be there and there was not a squad car, there was not a police officer on the scene during the funeral, though police officers did respond very quickly once their shot spotter system tracked shots fired in that block. The hope now is that uh, with two people being arrested that perhaps this wave of violence might be tamped down. Uh, but by all accounts, the violence in Pittsburgh, the idea that you're not even safe perhaps at a funeral service in a church, well, that brings things to a new low, a new depth. And in fact, the pastor of the Destiny of Faith Church issued a statement saying, this is probably my pastoral ministry that I've been doing for over 30 years. This has been one of the most devastating incidents of my life. And you can imagine just how on edge and frightened people are. The idea that even a funeral could be part of a retaliation or part of gang violence or part of a tit-for-tat response between warring factions in the community. It's got a lot of people very, very anxious and nervous. And again, gang activity, uh, reckless homicides, these are not unusual for American cities. But nonetheless, a lot of people in Pittsburgh right now are extremely anxious. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section.